So today was an adventure that I did not know I was having. Um, like, at all. Um, you expect, I was at dance, you know, coaching and stuff, so I was doing some demonstrations and stuff. And, but like nothing major. And my heel on my left foot was hurting. I don't know why. I didn't do anything to it. It was just hurting. But it ended up stopping and life moved on. I would continue pain here and there, but nothing major. Brought to my chiropractor. He adjusted my foot and it felt really good. I felt better. Yeah, adjustment. It hurt, but it felt better and it did work and it felt made me feel better for you know the week and um you know it was it was I was feeling better it wasn't until this weekend I probably started feeling a bit more pain in it than usual Okay, well, maybe something else is going on in my foot that I don't know about. Maybe she did do something to my foot and not realize what I did. But, again, there was no injury that I knew of to my foot. So it was very concerning that this was happening. So... Tuesday got adjusted, my foot, my foot got adjusted, and felt better. Yesterday was Wednesday. My friend needed me, Allie needed me, and I felt some pain during that time frame with her, and I was like, okay, something is going on, but I mean, I can push through for till tomorrow, and all should be well, just need another adjustment. This morning I had to get up early and go to the hospital to see my grandma, to be with her for a hot minute, to work with you know, doctors and doctors and figure what's going on with all that. And then um, I was in some pain while walking, but it wasn't anything that would you know, cause me any major discomfort. It was just like kind of achy, whatever. Not a bigger deal. And then like, you know, getting up to our room was really fine. It wasn't there for several hours. And then all of a sudden I get up to leave and it hurts to walk. And like the pain is like my covers my entire foot, my heel, top of my foot, and now kind of creeping up past my knee and into my, up, you know, and my thigh and then my hip. And it's like, okay, what's going on? Like, what the heck? Like, is this all about? I don't understand. Like, why? Why is this happening to me? And... So it was just getting very, very annoying. Very, very annoying. So, I was just, yeah, I was just really annoyed by all this. Yeah, my, my daughter's at the hospital with me at this point. My mom brought her to me. And we get up, we go, again, walk, walking is hard. But I'm able to manage do that stuff. I walk just fine for the most part. Pick up my friend, bring her to to bring her and my daughter to Cairo and then, you know, add me in there just to, because my ankle is bugging me. I get out and I instantly am in so much pain. Like instantly, where I'm crying. I can tolerate a lot of pain. 
but that was like I stepped on a nail type pain and it's in up my leg and from my toe to my heel to my knee up to my hip like I was in just searing pain I could barely put pressure on my foot it was the worst scenario ever like I was I was afraid I was like oh my gosh like what the heck I'm in tears crying my daughter and my friend who I'm supposed to, who I'm supposed to be supporting and helping out turns around and supports me and I, I love her for that I love her she has my back my kid has you know they're supporting me and helping me out and so we walk in and they bring us into Cairo and my daughter gets dressed at first and then I do and he barely touches my ankle and I'm like screaming out in pain and he goes I can't really touch your foot and I'm not going to adjust your foot we're going to go next door and have an x-ray so he helps me next door you do an x-ray and he goes I can't really see anything in your foot because the inflammation is so much inflammation. It's, I don't know what happened. I don't know what you did. But until the inflammation is down, I can't see a thing wrong with your foot. And I'm like, what's wrong with my foot? Like, why would this happen? What's causing this? Like, there's no answers for my foot right now. There really isn't any answers. And that's what scares me the most. There's no answers. And it scares me. And so he helps me out of the x ray room and into the. Um, there's like other beds out in front of. Out behind. Out in front of the x ray rooms. And I go lay on one of. I go sit on one of those and he brings me an ice pack. And. In the midst of all of this, I feel very uneasy. So I, I know this feeling, but I can't put my finger on what that feeling is. My daughter, at this point, is contacting my parents and going, Hey, mom is not doing good. Mom is struggling. Her foot is really hurting her. Something is wrong. And then as my daughter and I were talking, she, I go... I feel like I'm having an anxiety attack as I'm shaking my hands and I go and it's not an anxiety attack it is an aura seizure I'm about to have a seizure and she goes oh crap and she knows those things scare me just as much as they scare her because I don't know what she's saying that's what, that's what scares me is I don't want her seeing that part of me even though I know she's seen it multiple times it's not something I want her to see again and it is it's it's scary it's scary uh, so I had a mild seizure an aura seizure in my right arm and then within 15 minutes my friend and chiropractor came out of the room to watch me basically have two more I don't, I don't even know of one of the seizures there was I knew about this I knew about the smaller one but there was a, a bigger one that happened and my eyes like went outwards and my friend was like really, really concerned at this point. My, she's like, this isn't okay. This is not okay. You you had a seizure. Like that's not no normal little seizure. You've had a seizure. And she was like, well, we should you're driving right now. How come you're driving with the seizure condition? Um, be, and it's because doctors don't recognize it as a seizure. And they don't recognize what I have as a seizure and it sucks I don't drive when I have them because um, because of it being seizures but I'm driving right now because day at home because my friend's house who I was with this whole time being safe and my kid is 
right here itching to get me so she can hug me so i'll talk to y'all later bye